I can't believe more people are talking about this. To the seven year old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school, I'm sorry. Wait, there's more. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you, but we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since you too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. Now, my whole thing with this is, you know, kudos to the dad standing up to his daughter. I'm a dad. I would have done the same thing, bro. But when I think about it and I put it around in my mind, my adult brain, and I say to myself, you know, this is a problem between two seven-year-olds. You've got one on this side, one on this side. One is your daughter. Any parent would have did the same thing. We're not faulting you for being upset. And you definitely did the right thing by having a meeting with the school, having a meeting with the parents, having a meeting with the parents and the little girl, and you saw for yourself, this little don't listen. So what I'm gonna do, cause she bullying my daughter and my daughters, I'm talking with my mother and she's saying the little girl's probably not a fighter. She's probably frail. The little bully, she might be obese, boy. You know what I mean? Just like, Walking by the school campus picking on kids, but even though the same, you guys seen the comments on the original video, but man, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this as a parent, as a dad. What happened to the days when we used to tell the kids, if you don't go whoop they ass, I'm gonna whoop your ass. What happened to that? Can we get back to those days with these punk ass kids, these punk ass kids? And I know there's some women out there that just don't fight. But we live in a jungle. You can't afford to be okay with that thought process. You're lucky the world is civilized. You're lucky the world is civilized. We still live in a jungle. People are eating people. You, you see what I'm saying? I'm not even going to say that word on here. They might... Blocked my account. They took my video down yesterday with um, Coach Bree and Kendrick Lamar and Drake and Rick Ross, blah, blah, blah. But what type of lesson are we che teaching the children here, man? I mean, daddy, yo, we got to teach these kids to be accountable for themselves, man. You know what I mean? The kids have to be accountable for themselves as a father. I mean, my situation is a whole nother video, but I take my hat off to you still because you got some punk ass parents who won't even fight for their kids. No tough love. Oh, that's how life goes. They'll learn and da 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 da. You see, I'm in the middle. I'm with that. They'll learn if you teach them correctly, if you train the child in the way they should grow. I mean, it's not rocket science, and you don't have to be religious to see that in nature. What about the school? What are they going to do about security now? The man said he beat the kids' parents up on the school campus, bro. Imagine you go to a school, your child messing with somebody. You go to pick up your child at after school, after care, after school program. It's a parent with a bandana, big tattoos covered, dreads, tank top, with three other guys looking to whoop your ass. Bro, bro, what are the public schools going to do about this situation? How would Leslie wants to know? Give me some thought, because these things are trendy. They're a hot topic. He probably feel good. The guy went and beat up a seven-year-old's parents, made a video about it, and posted it on a social platform. One, he wants you to see. He wants the little girl to see. He wants her parents to see. He wants us to see. He wants the police to see. That's an assault charge. But I guess you Mason, Freemason, you got your chain on. You above the law. It don't work like that for everybody all the time. And it's not if you're deliberately going out and injuring people, it doesn't work out for you that way. Not all the time are parameters able to be kept. Sometimes they got to open the door and let you out because of your behavior. What is society going to think about this? This guy has two million views. If you were dead like me, you was... I'm going to walk around the house talking to myself like, bro, 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 two seven-year-olds have an argument, an adult steps in. 
He did the right thing though, man. You can't fault this guy. He was very, very mature, very intelligent, very civil, very legal, very psychological. He took the necessary steps before the ass whooping got there. But my thing is, your little girl should have been the one to get that ass whooping. You might feel good, but boy, 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 if your little girl would have put a brick upside that little girl head, you couldn't, you, that's a priceless feeling for that young queen and she would have felt the most self-esteem and self-image boosting feelings that she has ever, ever, ever felt. And that would have been a jewel for her. You know, having your daddy come and save you is a jewel, but being able to save yourself, because I can't save you all the time, is priceless, bro. You know, that had an impact on us today when you shared that with us, big bro. I know everybody saw this all over America thinking about going to go pick up their kids or even if somebody has a current bully, now they're scared to go deal with the kid because they're like the, the, the child's parents might be a bully. Then they're going to bring a gun. Then they're going to be like their parents is bloods and crips and they gangsters and they military U.S. Uh, uh, veterans. They're going to have more guns than me. I need to bring more people with more guns to the school campus. I'm not going to say anything about that. America doesn't care about kids. It's obvious. 20 school, sh 20 school shootings, no school shooting reform. You don't have to say who cares about you. You'll know who cares about you. They'll do something. The legal implication, I can't believe he came on here and made a video about it. He ran to jump on the video. He like, to the little girl, the little seven-year-old girl who was bullying my daughter. I hope she was obese. I hope she was every bit of 300 pounds. I'm sorry you had to see that. You need to go get some psychology. Go check you a therapist. But now you might think about your actions. He made a point though, didn't he? Bro made a point, bro. Bro made a point. Bro say, you gonna have to think about what you do. Because you just got your parents messed up. Now daddy crying. Now mommy crying. And it's your fault. You know it. They say it's not your fault. But you know it's your fault. You little bad ingrate. From hell, seven-year-old you. You know it's your fault. And hopefully, if the child is empathetic and full of compassion, they'll think about their own actions. But this little girl doesn't sound like that type of person. Am I right? Drop it in the comment. Like, share this video, man. This girl doesn't sound like this type of person. She sounds like she was bad at school. She picking on kids. She don't give a hmm what her mama and her daddy say. He had a meeting with the parents and he saw her this and her parents. How many people have seen people's children treat them like, boy, you lightweight. Who you talking to? Don't make me call the police on you. Don't make me slap you. I'm grown. Pop. I don't know where that come from. <clears throat> I don't know. My, I got bad nerves. I can't be. <laughs> I, can't, I can't roll like that. What you said? I don't know. <laughs> what you would say? What you said? <laughs> Welcome to my million dollar channel, man. This is Howard Leslie giving out my take on random trendy views just for the community. We out here, man. This is crazy.